Welcome Librans. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the uh, Pisces season for the year 2021. These readings are timeless. Whenever you want to see these readings, go back and check them out. They are season readings. Sometimes your frequency is not um, as uh, my frequency. So sometimes you are like two, three stage behind. Always come back and check out and see what is transpiring. All right, so what is coming up for you guys is that you are in the season of Pisces. The season of Pisces is about creativity, sensitivity, and artistic, okay? And the season of Pisces begins from the 19th until the 20th of March, and it carries for a week. It's not a monthly reading. It is a season reading. There is a difference. So you are a Libra, and you're governed by the energy of the hair, Okay. So when we look at you Librans, it's about justice, equality, and a balancing out uh, yeah, uh, energies and situation that was not uh, um, positively um, shown. So you're balancing out the situation. So that is uh, um, really wonderful. But as a Libran in a water energy, because this emotional situation, Pisces is a season of water. Um, and the, the, the problem is that with this energy of water, I see that you're, you can be emotional, um, because you're trying to balance out some sort of a fairness and injustice that has transpired and took place. So you need to recognize uh, where you are and what you need to, to, um, you know, show up for, um, in this timeline and recognize, uh, the uh, situation that is transpiring. So as we look, we see the energy of temperance. So some of you need to rebalance your materialistic stability, okay? You need to rebalance the flow of your money. You need to rebalance uh, um, the situation that is going on with your abundance and prosperity. That needs uh, to be rebalanced, okay? As we've recognized, a lot of you are dealing with a Virgo person. Um, it could be your son or um, it could be your daughter, but it's no, it's a Virgo son. A lot of you are dealing with a Virgo son and it could have been because of this person. There is some sort of a imbalance situation that is coming up and transpiring. So that person could be affecting your your financial situation in some form of way okay it can come up in um different different ways but this person have some sort of an influence on your financial stability so you need to recognize that so you have one major arcana and this major arcana is about balance it's about um balancing out a situation so the first week is as if the first week is from the 19th until the 28th so you are going to be trying to balance out some sort of a situation in your world because there is imbalance okay so if you notice this imbalance and it is about healing the flow of your um abundance and, and prosperity Okay, this is a, a powerful energy, and this is the energy from an earth sign. And this is saying to you, you need to heal it. Okay, so when a major arcana comes up in the reverse, especially with a money reading, you need to heal it. So you can ask for um, healing via candles, and it's always white or green candle, um, in order to balance out your financial stability, okay? And create some sort of a re renewal, okay? Because it's as if uh, um, it is in the reverse. It's as if, uh, you know, you have given out so much for Christmas. You're trying to regain. So I see extra. Some of you will be taking on extra hours, extra work, and that sort of a thing, okay? In order for you to renew whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, it is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic because uh, you're going to be recognizing, you know, where you are and you know the situation that is coming up uh, that you need to really balance out in a really powerful way the great blue aaron remains calm and peaceful as uh, um you know you bleed through the opposite elements of the 
fire and water okay so this i said to you this is an energy of fire and water so it's like um yin and yang it's masculine and feminine okay um it is asking you to create moderation okay and focus on cooperation and comp um, comparison okay so you need to cooperate in order to recognize and rebalancing out issues and situation okay some sort of a self resentment you will find a new sense of healing and balance from um bringing a little harmony back in your life okay so sometimes your life can go out of harmony because your money isn't flowing your abundance is blocked your prosperity is not flowing and that sort of a thing and all you can just do is just create this by saying hey universe send in call upon the angels of abundance there's a lot of angels of abundance call upon them and said hey remove the blocks divine intervention remove the blocks to my financial um, stability and regain so i see a lot of you are going to be taking on extra work looking for extra work looking for extra hours in the first week and that is going to be um the week of the 19th to the 28th of february you are going to be going in that direction and route in order to um you know recognizing where it is that you need to stand and what it is that you were accessing and how it is that you come to this stage where you need to recognize that hey i gotta take back my power by you know using finding ways and means in order to um rebalance my um financial stability it could be a child that is a uh, really draining some of you or your financial stability it could be a partner that is a virgo that is uh, draining some of you of your financial stability that sort of a situation could be happening so be aware all right so we're looking at the second week the second week is the energy of fire um this second week is about you standing your ground whatever is happening in transpire stand your ground stand your ground against anyone at the workplace anyone that is trying to block your materialistic flow anyone who is creating obstacles issues for you you need to stand up against these people okay so the second week is about courage okay and this second week begins from the first until the 7th of march the first until the 7th of march you need to um find courage in a strength okay courage and inner strength to stand up to equality and injustice okay you need to single and out stand tall blaze with higher power and light and use you know um, let people know that hey don't play with me because i'm aware of who you are and what you are doing all right so and um, you know these other people you know others is going to be falling away in the shadow because you're going to be standing up or, and saying what it is that is affecting you. So it could be situation at work. It could be situation with your business. It could be that people are working against you. People are trying to ruin your reputation. That sort of a situation could be happening. So the story of, of you know, this week is about standing up. And that is the week from the first, um, the first, yeah, the first of March until the 7th of March. is is about you standing up against anyone who is trying to put pressure on you or is trying to create some sort of an imbalance around your life and you're standing up for your beliefs um that you know each and every one of us is here to survive so you know don't try to pull the the, the you know my good out of my mouth or don't try to um use your powers in order to pull out or, um you know things and take things from me that is rightfully mine and i see a lot of you are going to be standing up so it could be a situation with a house it could be a situation at the workplace where someone is trying to ruin your reputation it could be that you leave one job and you're moving on to another job and someone writes a bad reference here you're going to be calling up the person and this is it ladies and gentlemen someone give you a, a bad reference see you need to face this person and say hey um you know I don't think this reference is who I am, okay? Um, you might have some sort of an issue with me, but this reference is not who I am. So I see you're going to be standing your ground. And some of you, this could be um, a Virgo person between the age of 18 and 45. 
um, 18 and 50 or 18 and 55 who tried to ruin your reputation. And I see you stood your ground and is going to be standing your ground against this person and letting this person know, you know, it is too far um, at what you have done. It is really too far. Now, there is a lucky sense here that a lot of you didn't recognize. You have twice seven. So you're on, you're on the good part. Twice seven. You have the energy of twice seven. You are definitely on, uh, on a roll street. You're definitely on the good part. What is showing up here? What you're recognizing is that the energy of two times seven is 77. That is saying you are on the good part. Whatever you are deciding to do, um, in order to create more abundance in money and prosperity, it is a yes. Go ahead. This is definitely a big yes that the universe is saying to a lot of you, Libran, whatever your thoughts um, and your plans are, yes, go ahead. It is going to be resolved in a whole lot of money. So this is going to be good. So wonderful. These two sevens um, beside each other. The energy of the seven of pentacles is in reverse. So um, when the seven of pentacles is in reverse, is that... Uh, um, a situation you're working on is not yet final because you're dealing with a, um, uh, you're dealing with a, uh, a Virgo person. Okay. Now it's coming up as a Virgo person, but it could be a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Okay. The seven of pentacles is about the period of compensation. Okay. It's, um, it's a very curious card, especially when it's in the reverse. Okay. When it's in the reverse, it's as if you're, you have put your plans. So you have already put your plans, uh, um, and you have already built on, um, your project. You're working on something. You already put your plans together. You're building your own, your project. And what is happening now is that I see a contemperament of some sort of uncertainty that someone is trying, you know, uncertainty about your business, uncertainty because um, someone might try to ruin your reputation or have said something that was not correct and incorrect. And now people are recognizing that this person was not being honest. Okay, so, you, you know, you're looking back at all of your hard work that you have done and wondering, you know, if it has been a failure. No, it's not a failure. You know, a lot of you are, uh, are thinking, you know, I started for myself, but was it a failure or a success? No, it's not a failure. It's a success. And you can't seem to decide if you should, you know, keep going on it. So, um, and, and this is about, is it, you know, is it rewarding me money? What is it doing? Is it rewarding me money? Or, uh, you know, maybe so, you know, you're trying to figure out and controlling your mind over the perception of where, this business, this project is going to be going. It's possible you're, you know, you're, um, you're, you're reordered or waiting for you to recognize them. So it's as, it's as if uh, you're going to be getting some sort of, uh, rewards. The rewards is coming in. You're going to be getting some sort of a rewards. They're coming in, but it's as if this person, um, is trying to create the shift and is trying to block this and is trying to create the shift. And, you know, now they're recognizing that there have been people who have been blocking some sort of a situation for a lot of you Librans. And it's as if you Librans are going to be recognizing, hey, um, this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, has been the one that is, was, has been working against me and has not been, um, you know, but honest. So it's as if you could be in business with this person or, but this person is a young person between the ages of 18 and 50. And you're now recognizing that this person is trying to create some sort of a problem, some sort of a issues. And people are recognizing, you know, this person is not honest. All right. So, um, you know, it's someone who tries to ruin your reputation with your business because that is the energy of a business card that some of you have. Some of you could be at work that you're working on a project, you're working with a group of people and that is happening. So in the in the, in the week of the 8th until the 14th, be aware. Be aware that someone is trying to, you know, create some sort of a problem around you at the workplace um, with your business, with your project. 
however this is transpiring but um, money is going to be coming in it's about don't give up don't give up on your project because your project is going to be a success so whoever's thinking in the third week, week of the hate until the 14 you know should i stop this should i no no it will be it will be okay so recognize this all right and this is going to be good all right so let's look at the last week the last week you're dealing with um the Sun of Pentacles. Now, the energy of the Sun of Pentacles is about a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Now, whoever this person is, and whatever is transpiring, this person, this person is not honest. Not honest. Uh, okay. Disloyal and uh, a really dishonest person. Okay. So, what is happening here and transpiring is that. You're going to be seeing the orange side of a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. You're going to be recognizing that the sickness of this person, okay? The intention of this person is not trustworthy because the person is in reverse. So whatever is coming up in that last week, uh, the week um, um, that has the 15th until the 20th, write these week down. The week of the 50th uh, until the 20th, you got to recognize that you're dealing with a young person between the age of 18 and 50 that is not honest, a very dishonest figure. Um, um, and, and, and not only not honest, but very stubborn. That sort of a situation. It is not someone to take on your journey moving forward. Whoever this person is, um, the lies and the deceptiveness of this person is going to be coming out. You guys are going to be recognized as a whole this person, um, from you off, whoever this person is. Um, and recognize where you are. I do love you, Liberance. Be show your love by thumbs up in. Show your love by thumbs up in. Share, share, share these videos. Come back each and every season in order. These are not monthly readings. They are season readings. There are season readings of Pisces. Pisces is a water energy. You are an air energy. Be aware of this, what is happening, and uh, show your love by thumbs up. Leave a message. Let me know what happened. Namaste until next time.